Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I had a lot of cleaning to get done and I just started out with grabbing all of our sheets and spraying our mattress with this awesome cauldron spray. Before I get too into cleaning today, my Grove order actually just got delivered to my doorstep. So I thought I would just show you guys really quick what I got this order. Um, and it might give you some ideas. I love seeing other people's Grove hauls. And if you don't know what Grove is, you probably have been living under a rock. No, that's kind of the joke. They're a really awesome company that you can get your green cleaning products from. And if you guys have never ordered from them, I have a link below that you can get um, a free set of Mrs. Meyer stuff. And generally they throw in other free things. Every single order I get, I generally get some free stuff. So. Anyways, um, I haven't, I just cut the top open. I haven't actually opened it up and I can't entirely remember everything I ordered. So, um, here we go. Oh yeah, I got two of these, I think. This is the Mrs., I mean the Method. Um, they always tape these down so that they don't leak. Um, the Method uh, Antibacterial, but I like this kind of stuff because we are in the thralls of potty training and lots of baby messes, so. Um, definitely comes in handy. Fabric softener, my method fabric softener. I love this scent. I use this and my laundry detergent. I got, oh my gosh, I love this scent in the Caldra. Um, if you guys want a good multi-purpose cleaner or like countertop spray that whenever you spray it, the whole room like smells like that smell for a while, this is amazing. I actually, Kristen Casper here on YouTube, a long time ago did a vlog that said, that was labeled like the best smelling cleaner I've ever smelled and that's why I ordered it and oh my goodness, it smells amazing. So this is the refill for it um, that I can make more. I have the little spray bottle. And if you hear little people in the background, that's because I have a one, two, and three year old. This one is the Pear Blossom Agave. And this one is, whoops, Ginger Palm, pal, 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 Ginger something. That's what I'm gonna go with. <laughs> and then they also sent me a Mint Argan Chapstick. So this is what I got this month. And back to cleaning we go. So, um, like I said, I was just grabbing all of the sheets off of everybody's beds and mattresses, and um, I'm not sure if I've shown the bunk beds completed. Um, if you guys watch my vlogs, then you know that um, I was painting those, and they're done, and the girls love them. So one reason I love to have all white bedding for everybody is because I can bleach it. It's the only product that I use that isn't, um, like quote unquote green or natural. Um, so I just put that in with my Method laundry detergent and fabric softener. And I also put in um, the scent beads that are like similar to the Unstoppables, but it's a more natural version of them. Just helps to boost the scent. I love clean smelling sheets. And I let the water run um, until it pretty much fills up just because of the bleach being in there so that it is evenly dispersed. And right there, I was using my Mrs. Meyers um, apple cider scent. I am serious, that is my favorite Mrs. Meyers product by far. And I just ran it into some water and then used a rag to wash down all of my cabinets. And just in case you guys didn't know, that scent is still available. So you guys can go check that out and that can be your free set is the apple cider scent. Um, from Grove Collaborative. And I just took the trash out to the garage, wiped down my coffee bar. I love this little spot in my house. It's my favorite to decorate. And right now I'm just using the Method glass cleaner on my stove and my dishwasher. It seems to do the best to get it streak free. Next, I just went along um, the bottom trim under the cabinets. I never want to forget that because with little people, it definitely gets very splattered up. Now that the washer is pretty much filled up, I just pushed all the bedding down into the water and got it started. And 
And then I moved into the dining room, um, just did the windows in here. I even went outside. They were just really bad. We had had an air conditioner sitting in this window um, through the summer and it just left a lot of splatters and marks um, from the window being open like that. Then I just used the glass cleaner on um, this clock. This clock was my grandfather's clock. He built it and I kind of refurbished it and painted it the color that it is and it's definitely one of my most treasured possessions. Then that little mitt is from Norwex. I love it. It's a microfiber duster and it does an excellent job without having to use pledge or anything like that. And then that duster is also from Norwex. Again, microfiber, it does a great job for high things, um, stuff I can't reach very easily. I try to wipe down the chairs and the height chair as often as I possibly can. I feel like that's one of the most dirty areas of my house is the dining room table and just right around where the kids eat. Funny how the story goes, little hope but bigger dreams. They try to bring And then this mop is also from Norwex. Um, it is a microfiber mop that only takes water and it does a really good job, although I've been looking at spin mops. So if you guys have a spin mop and love it, let me know what brand you have and um, I'm gonna definitely check it out. Next, I just picked up this little runner and if you guys are curious where that's from, it's from Amazon. I'll leave a link below. I love my runner in my kitchen. I got it just for the cooler months um, with fall coming on and um, it really is not that hard to clean. I just shake it off and I like to mop and sweep underneath of it just because it does um, collect dirt though. <laughs> um, just because it's very porous and has a lot of knobbies on it. And so I just moved that out of the way while I mopped. Then I just scrubbed the sinks out from um, using them with the mop and got that all cleaned up. Sip me up like lemonade, we both know it's bittersweet. Ah, the sourness will bite your tongue, no one is for- Next, I just went to our little entry area right here and it was, oh, it gets dirty just from the shoes and everything coming in the door right there. So while I was on the mopping mode, <laughs> I decided to um, quickly mop this area. Another thing I try to keep up with consistently is washing doorknobs and doors, um, just fingerprints and things get all over the place there. This is our upstairs living room. Um, we also have a family room that has a TV in it. You guys will see in a minute here. Um, so the, we kind of have two areas that are used for playing and whatever else, lounging. So I just grabbed my vacuum cleaner and quickly vacuumed off the couches that are up here and the steps. <laughs> great vacuum lines that you only wish would stick around a little longer. <laughs> Next, I moved upstairs. Um, our house is kind of in three levels, so um, this would be the upstairs area, and I just got some Yankee Candle uh, wax melts for in my daughter's room. I just prefer to use a wax melt over a candle with an open flame in their room, 
and I just changed my youngest daughter's sheets on her crib and wiped down the girls' bunk beds. I can't spray a mattress spray on their mattresses because they have like the plastic sheets on just because of potty training and there is Everly's little potty that I'm so proud to say she gets up in the middle of the night and uses. It's usually full whenever I wake up and as a mom, if you're a mom, you know that that's a pretty big accomplishment. I just threw the bedding into the dryer and went back upstairs to our room, um, just washed this big mirror that I got for a super good deal at Walmart on clearance. And then again, grabbed my Norex dusting mitt and went over everything. We rent this house and I think sometime in the near future they're going to be replacing these carpets up here. Then this bathroom is up where our bedrooms are and I just went in here to tackle it. Um, windows, I, I don't always do windows but today I just decided that as I was going through I would do at least the interiors. Then I really have been liking this method toilet bowl cleaner. Um, you can get it through Grove and um, it does an excellent job. And then to disinfect, I got my On Guard uh, essential oil. I'll link it below. It's awesome. It smells like cinnamon, so it mixed well with the apple cider spray. The bathroom was smelling heavenly till I was done, but it definitely kills germs. And I just drip it on the toilet and wipe it um, with paper towels. And that is how I clean both toilets today. You'll see it whenever I clean the other bathroom. today was doing the showers um, I just wanted to tackle a lot of stuff so I decided that they could wait for another day next I went into our playroom and it needed a little bit of work and I am actually slowly working on getting a playroom tour up for you guys I know I've mentioned this a couple times but I think it should be up in the next week or so um, just on how I organize everything and um, I have a few more things to hang on the walls and stuff but that should be coming soon this is also kind of my office area where I do editing so I just dusted that all down and the girls were um, practicing their cutting with little scissors um, with my mom's help this day she was over helping me out um, while I got some cleaning done and so there was little papers all over the floor right there and that's what I was picking up next I went down to the bottom level of our house and this is where our other bathroom is um, I just used my Clorox uh, little wand, I think. I'm not sure. I'll link it below. I like those. They're disposable um, for the inside of the toilet. And then did the same thing to the outside of the toilet that I did upstairs. And these floors down here are very stained. Not this one, but the one in the bathroom and the laundry room. So I do my best to keep them clean, but they don't always look pretty. This is kind of the hallway between all the rooms on the bottom level. And then again, this is the door to our garage. So um, I was just wiping that down and that's to our real basement down below. Um, again, wiping all that down, I threw a load of laundry in that was on the floor since the sheets were in the dryer. And washed out my sink wiped up around it. I don't know what got splattered. Something was splattered all over the place. 
and again did the floor in here. Next, I went into our family room, and if you guys watch my vlogs, you know this room has been a work in progress for me. I'm slowly getting it pulled together, um, but just did some dusting, and I just painted that shelf. If you guys saw my vlog, this is what it looks like done. Just vacuumed quick. My littles were watching something at this point. Next, I went upstairs and the sheets were done in the washer, I mean the dryer, so um, I went ahead and made the beds. Since I met you for the first time, you know we should work it out. Kind of a random little tidbit, um, I found that headboard at a yard sale. I have no idea how much I paid for it. I bet it was like a couple bucks. And I just brought it home and painted it, kind of like distressed. And I love it. So I have no idea where it originally is from, but it's an antique and it's definitely something that is a staple for me. It's something for you. The way you look, the way you act, and how you move. Thank you guys so much for watching today. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Um, give this video a like. Head on over to Instagram and follow me there. I'm on there quite a bit. And I hope that you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks a lot for watching. To give you my heart, yeah. Before I'm too invested, I should probably